And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the west. West, that's west. Up against Kuzo, the blue Protoss in the south. Uh, the map is Lost Temple, um, which means it's got, you know, kind of an interesting layout here. You know, that choke actually guards both your expan your natural expansion as well as your main base. There's lots of room here for uh, Colossi and uh, Reapers, even think Stalkers, I guess, if you have an Observer, uh, to move up, avoid the ramp altogether, so blocking off not always the best idea. Uh, you know, plus there's this little terrace thing here, you can drop like a Thor or a Siege tank and just really wipe out the expansion. And he goes straight for my base, good guess by Kuzo. So he is able to scout. I'm not sure if that is uh, the best idea, or the best luck, really, to get um, that first um, that first guess right on a first person or a fourth person map, because uh, as you can see, th there's really nothing to see here. Yes, I got a supply depot and a barracks. Did you did you need to send a probe in to find that out? And here I skip. The, uh, the east one and I go for the south because I assume that he went for since he got there so fast he went for uh, he was spawned at one of his uh, closer ones here and so I guessed right and cybernax core and another gateway coming out so I'm expecting a uh, stalker rush um, because I've seen that so many times I'm getting sick of it so I'm going okay stalkers uh, so I'm so I've got a tech lab coming out. I'm gonna go be going for Marauders almost exclusively, I believe. Looks like Marauders coming out first. Oh, there we go. Reactor going on the second barracks because I think I need units more than anything else. He's actually got two probes here. Wow. So I mean, he's got more harvesters than I do, of course. Um, but it looks like we're about even. Oh, he did get the second gas, so he's taking the lead in gas. Uh, but the uh, mineral count is about even, I wouldn't even say that I have the lead here, because, oh, I do have mules, that's why. So I have the lead in minerals, and I am getting the army so much faster than he is. He doesn't have an army. I've got two marauders, I could, well, I probably couldn't take these, yeah, no, he's got stuff going, so I couldn't take him out now. But I could definitely put pressure on him with, uh, with the army, that little army that I have right now. Another gateway going up, so he has a three gate up right now with the cybernetics core. Usually I thought it was a four gate build for the Protoss, as opposed to a three racks build for the Terrans. And I don't even go for the three gate build apparently, so what am I complaining to him about? Still a probe left on the Zelnaga Tower. Not watching the other one because he's got the forward position here. So he does have map control, even though I have the army. Thanks to that probe. Die, probe, I hate you. I was wondering what's this? Plasma shields, protest armor, particle beam. He's got a particle beam? It's like a taser. And he doesn't have his nexus hotkeyed. I just noticed that. He just uh, set the hotkey for the warp gates, but he doesn't have it on the nexus, so... Just now he's getting full energy, he's not chrono boosting anything. Uh, he could have so much more, so many more stalkers out if he wanted. Um, look at that, that is quite a fast morphing, I didn't realize it was that fast. I don't play Protoss, I, I exclusively play Terran. I'm sticking with them for now, they're the ones that I started with, they're what I'm gonna stick with. Down goes the probe, checking out the tower. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it, because now I technically have map control. Oh no, I'm going to move on. No. And now he's starting to amass stalkers, because he knows that I'm coming. Because that is the, uh, that is the benefit of having the watchtower. You can see the army coming, you can start to prepare for it. Is he getting... Oh, he did research Blinka, that just finished, so they are now Blink Stalkers. And here I stand in his line of fire and finally go, oh crap, I'm being attacked here. So he's able to get a free kill, do a hell of a lot of damage, 
And I do stim up, and it doesn't look like that's going to be enough. Oh, especially with those reinforcements coming in. No chance. Oh my goodness, he's able to mass those up so fast. And uh, that's something that I've always been envious of Protoss. Uh, of course, I did used to play Protoss, so I, I, that they are the second uh, one that I would play in StarCraft II if I ever got the chance to do that, um, is that they are able to get an army fast, and once they are in position, they can just start attacking. I don't have to set a rally point and have everybody run there. Um, you know, and of course, it, for... for the Terran is just a move command. Same with the Zerg. It's just you move there, not attack move. So if you don't have it set right, you can lose very easily. And there goes the stim. Is it going to be enough? These stalkers do so much damage. They blink back. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm not sure that's the best use to blink, but I'm not an expert on blink. And down goes everybody with three Marauders left over. He's got, of course, so much. He, he can still produce so fast. He's got four stalkers up in his base already, uh, thanks to these warp gates. And so he's going to secure the expansion. He does feel like he has map control thanks to that pressure that he put on me, and he does. Um, he's a, he was able to counter. Let's see if I'm able to counter myself. My expansion is up and running. I don't think he saw that because he didn't blink in. Did he see that? No, he did not. Uh, he does not see the orbital command here, so he doesn't know that I've expanded, but based on the sole fact that my army's out here, he has to assume that I have it. Um, I sure, I, I think he, sh he should assume. I don't know if he actually did. And there we go, a Chrono Boost was used at some point, but still so much energy left on it. Um, he's now Chrono Boosting this Nexus. That is something that a lot of Protoss players forget. You know, the Chrono Boost, let's look at it. You can't see it, but I'll read it to you. Uh, 25 energy places target structure in a Chrono Boost. All structures will operate 50% faster for 20 seconds. Why would you not use it? That's like me going, oh, I don't need a mule, I'll just let, let the energy go all the way up. If it gets over 100, I am disappointed in myself. Uh, but I did get missile turrets up. It's really late in the game, but uh, I'm still scared of void rays. Uh, I don't get a missile turret here, but luckily he did not get a dark shrine, so it's not going to be that big of an issue. Full energy on that Nexus. He's... Just now Chrono Boosting the second. Um, but look at the income. I'm still ahead. You know, 41 Harvesters. That doesn't count mules. I really wish it did. Uh, but of course they are temporary. Uh, so I do have the lead. And I have had the lead for quite some time. And what about units lost? Uh, I did lose more units. But he spent a lot more on resources. So I do have quite a substantial lead here, and when um, I do eventually move out, ooh, nice placement on those cannons. To be honest, they might be a little far out. If he had put them here, I would not be able to see them at all, as it is if I just move my uh, the, the Marines and Marauders right to the edge of the cliff here. I do believe I'll be able to see them. Don't quote me on that, but I definitely will have medevacs out by the time I do attack. Banshees, Medivax. Why am I getting Banshees? Because he's shown me no um, Air Force yet. Now, this is something that a lot of Terran players forget to do. They just don't get Banshees unless they want to uh, do a sneak attack, you know, do a little harassment. That's the only thing that they use Banshees for. I use... I feel like it's fine to use them and as far as your regular army. If you want an Air Force, you know, bring in Banshees and Vikings. What could be... you know, what could go wrong there? Let's see if the Banshee is out yet. There it is. You know, look at that. 12 damage. Just, just plain damage. There's no, there's no specialization damage, just 12 damage. So what's the point? Uh, it's like a, it's like a marine in the sky, you know. Why not use it for, for anything possible? So he is able to get a free shot with those cannons and take out a tank. 
Um, but in comes everything, and tanks are sieged, and boom, starting to do massive splash damage. But he blinks perfectly, it looks like. he. Oh no, the, the, the damage did go down, but he blinks right onto uh, the tank. So it was a well-placed blink, just not a well-timed one. You can uh, actually avoid uh, the shots with blink, but he did not time it exactly right. Um, but that's incredibly hard to do with Siege Tanks as opposed to something like a Hunter Seeker Missile or um, Broodlings or something like that. Uh, of course, the Siege Tanks um, are it's almost instantaneous. So here he's going for the counterattack. So it's been back and forth almost all day. And he takes the Zelnaga Tower. But Siege Tanks are out and they do massive damage to Stalkers, especially when they're bunched up like that. Uh, let's see here, uh, 25 damage, not even sieged up. And here I do the stupidest thing that I could do. I went for this expansion here, thought it was safe, but then I ran right through his army with my probes to take it. So now he knows that I have it. Luckily I did see this pylon here, so I do know he's going for the proxy pylon, so I take that out as soon as I can. There goes the probe. Cloaking field being researched. Vikings and Banshees coming out. I don't know why I went for Vikings. I assumed... I think I assumed that he was going to be going...